Now, the problem is we can't sneak. There we go. Not as dodgy as I thought. You can't sneak because sneaking means that you're ending up... That's why I used a uh, gun, because I needed two sedatives to get the appropriate outfits. Right, drag the body. Now, this takes quite a significant amount of time, and I haven't got a convenient... Uh, dragging them along, a sedated man along the paddle steamer now. And of course I can't sing the tossing him overboard song. I suppose I could sing, uh, I'm, uh, I'm heading towards a bush, I'm heading towards a bush, and in that bush I'm gonna hide a man, I'm gonna hide a man in a bush, yeah. This may seem pointless and excessive, time wasting, but hiding him in a bush is the most efficient way to do it. Because if you hide him anywhere else, your target, next time he goes out and walks the dog, it, the, your target basically sees him. So we make sure he gets dragged all the way to the end. Don't forget the key card, that's a key element. But he gets dragged all the way around the back of the bush, and that way nobody spots him, which is most convenient. Or most impressive if you've got the same Darth Vader um, shaky car thing. Ah, there's my target, and uh, that means we're going to have to wait for him to pop out and come back again. So we'll. It looks like we'll be having another cut. Now, previously, that guy would have said no entry, but this time he waves me on and says I'm perfectly welcome to entering this room. I'm going to warm myself in the fire. I've been out in the rain far too long. I'd like to dry my underpants. They are soaking wet. And I'll leave him drying himself next to the fire until we fade into... It might not be a fade. I've used multiple cuts. Transitions, even. That's the phrase I'm looking for. A cut is just a straight... Boom! boom. Transition is what I'm talking about. Page turns, checkers. Ah, uh, thinking about the editing process. And what transition I'll use. Either way, we'll be transitioning now. Right, as you can see, I've moved away from the fire. I'm having a tinkle. I'm tinkling the ivories on the old Joanna. <laughs> Congratulations to anybody who knows what that actually meant. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 not the gun, not the gun, not the... Not the gun! Will you behave? I right, put it away because now timing is going to be a nuisance. Yes, no, timing is. Oh, shiting buggers. Right, this is. Uh, this is proving itself ever so slightly awkward. Right. Are you. What are you doing? Did you see? He twitched. Not sure if he wanted to go on his chair. This could be a mistake, but opportunity knocked. I answered the door, and he died. I do like the opportunity knocks jokes, don't I? Justice is waiting for her walk. Justice is waiting for her walk. Well, Justice will have to wait a fuck long time, because your husband is now dead. Not... Hello. Yes, I don't care if Justice needs her walk. I really hope she doesn't investigate. I've never... I've never known her to, but there is a chest here for hiding the body. And I'd be... I'm, I'm happier when bodies are hidden than when they're on display. But fortunately, no, she really doesn't. She wants to go... Well, don't bother picking the lock, because I can just exit through this door. Now, that's one target down, which is superb. That's, yeah, two targets, one down. That's half... We're halfway through. Let's do a halfway song. Even though I can't sing. Or even hold a tune. <laughs> and part of me really wishes I could be a musician, but... The lack of any real singing ability or tune-holding talent is uh, ever so slightly disappointing. Oh, dramatic music. 
commence. I thought it had gone off for a second there, but it's it's just adding tension. Ba do de do ba do hey up ba do de do hey ya ba da ba do I've kind of gone the wrong way. Never mind, it doesn't make that much difference. Hey, would you like to see a dead body, people? There's one! He's not as neat and tidy as me, this Parchezzi fella. He uh, just leaves him in a blood... I wasn't looking at a dead body, trust me. Um, he doesn't do things efficiently with sedatives and bins. He's just sloppy. He's a sloppy assassin. So, you're the famous Mark Parchezzi III. The sloppy Even assassin. Kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. Now that's always a slightly unfortunate thing, isn't it? The subtitles kind of... You'd think they could have put the bang on a separate line closer to when the bang actually occurred. Shitting hell, the alarms are going. I know I'm running in the wrong direction, but don't mind me, I'm, uh... Now, they find the dead body, I believe, that Parchezzi left behind. So, technically, technically they're all getting pissy about dead bodies, and my disguises might end up being compromised. Which way do I want to go? Now, I'm going to go up these stairs to the second floor. Now, you see, the reason why is because Parchezzi has... Parchezzi! Ha! <laughs> uh, that's got nothing to do with it. Parchezzi is a board game that's of no relevance here and now. Parchezzi has gone to the roof. And we're about to partake in our rooftop shootout. Now, the key thing is if you enter the roof from any other, from an alternate angle, shall we say. It's not, I don't know if it's any other angle. Uh, Parchezzi gets the drop on you and pretty much two bullets from his gun... At that, in that situation, two bullets from his gun will kill you instantly. Now, this is why I put the scope on the gun, so that I can go ahead and be a little more accurate. See, I've got, I've got vast amounts of advantage on him. Oh, you're going to go down way easier. Last time I... D oh, headshot for the kill! Interestingly enough, I don't think a headshot would have killed him in any other situation. But yeah, that's that's cool. I'm quite proud of that. In the practice run, I had to shoot him. I had to use so many weapons. I don't really need that custom thing. I don't really need that suit either. So I think basically, let's climb this ladder. Hope nobody really sees me, because this is looking good for a, a decent rating. Because even though there was a bomb which technically would have alerted guards. There was all sorts of stuff happening that would have alerted guards, but none of it technically can be linked back to me. I mean, it's all of the stuff discovered was Parchezzi. And there, thus, I, I'm thinking I'm technically in line for another Silent Assassin rating. Now, I've said that in the past, and been brutally disheartened at the end when it said, no, you haven't. But I can't help but think I do actually have a silent assassin rating here. Now, this may look familiar. We're heading back to the entrance. And fortunately, as a um, Secret Service member, or at least last time... Oh, hold your breath! <sighs> Thank God for that. As a Secret Service member, even though I've got my gun, and that's kind of why I didn't go back for my suit. As a Secret Service man, they don't bat an eyelid for you carrying a gun. And therefore I can walk through the metal detector and thus I can escape. Like a pro. Oh, look at that. That is much better. I was going to explain on the rooftop shout out the first time in a practice run, it took me forever and so many bullets. Because of course, with the full auto, at range, you were going and even a light tap of the um, mouse button got you a and, you, and the gun kicked something chronic and rotten up into the sky so you were shooting about 60 bullets oh, damn it I've missed about 20 30 however many bullets I said in the first place which is why I took off the uh, 
the auto fire and why I installed the scope. So it all became clear to you. Two kills, one close combat kill, one headshot. I thank you very much. Let's see the rating. Oh yes, final mission was silent assassin. I think I've done this game really surprisingly, really surprisingly, really surprisingly, really surprisingly. Well, <laughs> I was trying to do it to the theme if that wasn't obvious. I don't think it was quite as obvious as I'd have liked. Daniel Morris killed! Yes, yes he was. The FBI confirmed this morning that Vice President Daniel Morris and an unknown person were found dead at the White House yesterday afternoon. Investigators also report that 13 shots were fired by the assassin, judging from the bullet holes and cartridges. A comparison? Oh, hell yeah, sorry, I'm reading ahead and getting excited because I know what it says because I've read ahead. A comparison of the shots and wounds on the victims has led to the assumption that the shooter is a talented marksman. Few shots were wasted. No, they weren't, because I prepared myself. I prepared myself and I did it reasonably well with the scope. Anyway, 45, .45 ACP cartridges, large caliber handgun, possibly a customized silver baller. It concerns the authorities that the victim was brutally executed by a shot to the head. That, in fairness, was fluke. Um, I didn't mean to shoot him in the head. I was just generally trying to shoot him. I don't think shooting him in the head with the first shot would have made a difference. I don't think he was a one-shot kill. At all. You could never one-shot kill Parchezzi. Uh, prior to his nomination for the Vice Presidency earlier this year, Daniel Morris was an intensely... thumb... Oh, certain was an intensely, some would say obsessively, private person. Aides say he never did come to terms with the increased exposure of his new role. Was that new role ham and cheese? He's a fan of just cheese, and when he had that new role of ham and cheese, oh, he could not handle it. The ham was just too much. Ridiculous. Far too much. They weren't what you'd call best friends, one White House aide said, on the condition of an anonymity. 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 But they got along just fine. All this stuff you hear about temper tantrums and name calling and all that, it's just silly. But true. Suicide is murder. Is it really? Yes, I suppose you are still taking a life. Don't know why I turned that into a jaunty theme. I mean, I know what it started out as, suicide is painless, uh, but then it sort of went a little bit too jaunty for the topic, really, wasn't it? Americans shocked, saddened. Oh, poor Americans. Guldback versus Brinkmeyer, the ultimate championship. Congress united. The election poll, Frank Morgan is still not doing very well. 54% is going to Tom Stewart. VIP, oh, VP even. Hang on, I'll just change my eyeballs. There we go. VP Morris assassinated. Assassin killed. Vice President Daniel Morris was assassinated at the White House. Yes, yes he was. But then, in fairness, Daniel Morris, Daniel Morris. So they've got two stories about the same story. Fascinating. Quote of the day. The intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society... A we have created a society that honours the servant and has forgotten the gift. Thunderstorms are around. Wanted by the FBI! Two bald blokes. And that's suicide and murder, so we go to the enter for the... For the screen that's become renowned with the phrase cheerio and it will not change so cheerio. <laughs> 